In our last episode, we finally met the lost Duchess of Dashett Hall. She was indeed 12 feet tall, 120 years old, and surrounded by a solid gold frame. For the lost Duchess was really an enormous full-length oil painting worth a fortune. And right now, she's in possession of Lime Juice Louie and his band of cutthroats. That's us. Heavens, that was Lime Juice Louie and his band of cutthroats. Throat. I heard the man. But perhaps the audience didn't. Well, let's get after him. The charge. <laughs> hey, Louie, what's the idea driving right by those guys? Now they're chasing us. Correct. They're chasing us right into a trap. Uh, what kind of trap, boss? Observe closely. A detour. Well, we can't stop now. Drive on, Stanislav. Uh, my name is... Well, cha-cha, guts. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later, fellas. Oh, I'm afraid not, Muggsy. How come? Take a deco at that. Oh, horrors. Our friends have been decoyed into driving onto a set of railroad tracks. Now, let's see. This detour ought to take us by way of Mark Chunk and Kennebunkport. Uh, it's sure a smooth road for a detour, Waldo. What was that? Uh, just a grade crossing. A grade crossing? Yike! We're on a railroad track. Quick, turn the wheel, Eustace. Uh, I, I can't, Waldo. We fit too tight. Gee, what do we do if a train comes along? We better decide in a hurry, chap. Here comes one now. <laughs> Bon bon. The name is Fillmore. It's going to be mud if you don't beat that train. Go! And Fillmore pushed the gas pedal to the floorboard. Slowly, the truck pulled ahead of the speeding train. Something you don't see every day, Chauncey. What's that, Edgar? A truck on a railroad track being chased by a train? Oh, I don't know, Edgar. Happens all the time on the Bullwinkle Show. True. We're winning, Uncle Walter. We're pulling ahead of the train. But just then... Oh, what is it, Fillmore? I don't know, Professor. I don't look. We're running out of gas. And the train's gaining on us. Well, there's only one thing to do. I want to jump for it. And leave us to our fate? What kind of a hero are you? A smart one. You see that switch up ahead there? Uh, yeah. I'm going to jump for it. What have you missed? You'll just have to change the name of this program to the Waldo Wigglesworth Show. Uh, good luck, Hoppity. The Waldo Wigglesworth Show. Hoppity climbed out onto the running board, crouched, judged the distance, and at precisely the right instant... Yes, the train was switched onto another track and roared out of sight while Waldo's truck coasted safely to a stop. Everybody okay? Hoppity, my lad! You've saved our lives! You're a hero! Give him a fanfare, Beauregard! Ha <laughs> ha! Shucks, that was nothing. There's only one thing that puzzles me, though. Uh, what's that? I wonder where that train is going to wind up. <laughs> Anywhere, right in the middle of another program entirely. Well, all well as well, I guess. What do you mean, M? You haven't found the lost Duchess yet. Gee, I almost forgot. And here's your chance, gentlemen, for here she comes now. Yes, far down the road, Lime Juice Louie's car was hurtling toward them. Gee, they'll have to go under that bridge, Uncle Waldo. Hoppity, are you thinking what I think you're thinking? I think so. No, Hoppity, it's too dangerous. I forbid it. I put my foot down. <laughs> What's that for? Yeah, you put your foot down in the wrong place. Well, what dangerous scheme does our hero have in mind? We'll find out next time in What's Cooking or Hoppity's Plots and Plans. <laughs>